then check this out. You know, guys, we're all gamers in our own way, you know? We all like playing games, whether it be board games, video games, or maybe you're just a boring person and don't play a game. But in that case, why are you here? Also, do you guys like that intro? Uh, Duck, uh, D Duck Man and I made it. it it's pretty so cool. <laughs> it's, it's pretty okay. cool. And, uh, um, yeah, this, so, this broadcast is going to be about video games, our story right. of video games. So here's and how let's we're gonna do get it. this started, here, featuring here. Duckman, Ian, Maxer, and Serena slash Nat. Yeah, well. So here's how hey, we're going to do this. Let's see who starts it up, shall we? All right, oh, no. you know what? I'm going to start because y'all are pussies. All right, Just gamers. Start. So there's a lot of games I play. Well, I have over a hundred games on Steam. I play a lot of games. I'm a gamer. I, I, I'm a dad. All right. Cool. But a game I like to play all the time is Minecraft. But I'm not going to go into that because I'm pretty sure somebody else had that as their Whoa. game. Minecraft. As I hear Maxer slam his desk when I said Minecraft. <laughs> no, I was grabbing my Whoa. <laughs> Minecraft. Well, it sounded like slamming it. But another game I like to play a lot... Is for no, not Fortnite. I wasn't gonna say Fortnite. You didn't hear that. Fortnite, I like cool. to play fighting games a lot. I'm gonna start off. Where and if Duckman wants to go after this, I don't care. But <clears throat> a lot. Of, there are a lot of fighting games I like to play. I like to play Mortal Kombat. I like to play Jump Force. I like to play Marvel vs. Capcom. All the good stuff. Uh, but Mortal Kombat is a pretty fun game, in my opinion. It changed the way I look at a lot of games. It also. I also. It was one of the first games I got legitimately excited for because I haven't had my gaming stuff for that long, so I didn't I didn't really have any games that I was really hyped up for besides Spider-Man PS4. And it really just, I was really excited, and Mortal Kombat 11 was pretty fun. It had a few issues, but what game does it? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I don't have anything else to say. Who wants to go next? Oh, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Who goes... All right, I get it, dude. All, All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right. Gremlin. <laughs> um, my favorite game of all time definitely has to be Super Mario sixty four. <laughs> Thank you for that excellent commentary, Greenless Miscreant. Um. My favorite video game probably is Super Mario 64. It was, one of, it was one of the first. Specifically, specifically Super Mario 64 DS. Um, just because it was one of the first kind of real video games I ever got exposed to as a kid and got to play. Um, but in special places in my heart, definitely have to go to Club Penguin and uh, Pop Drop Again Minecraft. Club Ping was a massive part of my job. I still have, like, the original merch for it. And, like, stuff the emblems of it. And, you know, stuff like that. And then, um... And then, um... You know, Pop Tropico was also with Club Ping. <gasps> because I love those types of games. So then, I almost dropped my glass of orange. I want to say, sorry. right before I started kindergarten, I got a Nintendo DS Lite. The copy of Club Penguin, like the, the mission things. <laughs> and, the, and then my brother got gave me two Mario 64 DS. And so I love those. And then, like, Pop Tropico is amazing. I still have some Pop Tropico merch. Um, and then, of course, Minecraft, because, you know, it's where I met all my friends and stuff like that. Who? I'd say my favorite games. Who did you even meet on Minecraft? Well, it started off with um, Blue Sheep or Jay Waddle. Um, what, what which led name? me to Brax, which led, and then I brought in Dame. I forgot where you came in on the line. I, forgot I came in after Dame. I came you in came in after Dame? I think so. I, I, 
Mm -hmm. And then, you know, stuff like that. And then everyone else just molded him. Mm -hmm. I'd say I was just there. My favorite games to play right now are Splatoon 2. I came in the last. Fortnite? My, my, one... <laughs> yeah, my, one... the, my the game I basically play all the time right oh. now is Rainbow Six Siege, which I got during Operation Dust. <laughs> yeah. Operation um, R6 Siege. Season 1. I am typing on my mechanical keyboard. Oh fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I looked it up and there's an IQ body pillow. What the? F <laughs> Get what? that shit out of here! Get that what? shit out of here! What? 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 Wait, what? And it's the elite skin as well. Shut up! <laughs> oh no! I'm not joking. <laughs> Okay, okay, I think, uh, I think it's another person's turn. Alright, alright, that, no, that's all it. Right. <laughs> okay, no, 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 alright. Okay, so, definitely it was Rainbow Six Siege. I got the game. I want to say, what, was it Dust Storm? It wasn't Dust Storm. I was like, what the fuck was it? Um. I heard Burr. <laughs> Like, dust line. It was dust line. <laughs> so I got the. Sorry, I got the game. Voice. I got the game during Operation Dust Line, which is Year One, Season Two. But I never really played it until Operation Velvet Shell. It's about one year later, and it was really. Uh, I I loved it. I fell in love. I love strategy. One game. The, the majority of games I always love to play are definitely, like, military strategy. Come simulator. So, uh, that's probably my favorite game right now that I normally play. Yeah. Um, Fortnite! I, play, I also play Splatoon 2 a lot. Um, occasionally, I do play Battlefield 1 from time to time. Fortnite! And uh, that's oh. really it for me. So, now let's see what the Holy Wheel decides who gets to go next. Come stain. Doc man. I was so right. You are right! I was right! You are right. Go okay. ahead, Doc Man. <laughs> my whole gaming story starts off with my father. I was about Whoa. to say Kaku. Damn, I can't <laughs> Damn, well, we're having a leaving story. I was always already? on I was I always had like a poor not like a poor family, but like a, a family that couldn't really like get consoles like that. So I only had so to I play, still like, play my father's like old like Nintendo 64, Game Boy, and like Nintendo Wii because yeah that. So I only played like games like Ocarina of Time, Pokemon Stadium, and like Mario 64, That'd which he already 100 percent did. And I just like explored the hell out of it. It was my f almost my favorite game. But then almost. But then once I grew up, um, I got an Xbox 360 and. That's when me and my friends, like, before you guys, we would just play Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 4, Black uh, Ops 2. Bro! Bro! And just... I have Ray Gun, game. bro. Yeah, I have Ray Gun. Revive. Bro, man. Revive! Duck man. I have, Revive! Duck man. I have Ray Gun! Yes. Bro! Yes, Duck man. Matt. Duck, Duck man, I have a question for you. What? Did you ever have, like, a friend that was like, all right, good night, talk to you tomorrow, last online 700 days ago? Yeah, his name was, um, I don't, I'm not gonna say his real name, but it rhymes with Bic. Uh, Nick. Dick. No, I don't know, dude. Rick. Rick, Rick, Rick Sanchez. Rick and Morty. Rick Sanchez. Anyway, I, had, I had the same thing happen Rick to Rick Sanchez. Uh, by Rick and Morty. Okay, are you coming back? Are we gonna, are but we the thing is, I never got to Halo, and that's where everybody went to, so I, I eventually... Didn't, I didn't. I didn't go to Halo. I eventually got yeah. to, like, single-player games, which dude, led um, me to... Yeah? Which led me to, like, like games like, um... Oh, what were they? Dude, I had so many old Minecraft friends who I haven't spoken to. Yeah, oh yeah, Minecraft, years. Minecraft. That's where I got my Although love for recently, Minecraft. Actually, Xbox 360. Yeah. Recently, actually, I was contacted by a few of my old friends from Minecraft. And I thought it was pretty cool. Well, okay. Let's uh, a few <laughs> more years in the future since I only played COD. Um, I got a PlayStation 4, and that's <laughs> that was the best <laughs> thing ever. Because <laughs> that's when I found this game, Shadow Fortnite. Warrior. Oh. It's a game about this. Uh, <laughs> Chi about these Chinese people trying to find the sword has like this magical powers and you'd be like the richest man if you have it. But the main character, Lo Wang, he, <laughs> it. he Oh Shadow Warrior, I love that game. Yeah, just it's a it's like sort of like Doom, like the old Doom, but like 
like it was made into a PS4 game, like style. And that was the game I would play. I would just replay that game over and over and over. Same thing with the Batman Arkham game. Dude, I love the Batman Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Origins. I hate Night. Hate Arkham Night. You hate Night? I hate Night. Night's the one I played the most. I hate the one I played the most was City. That's my favorite. I mean, I, I, I like. I don't know. Something about Arkham Knight. I liked the gameplay, except for the Batmobile, but I, the story was not good. Eventually, I found, uh, my uncle told me about this game called Bloodborne, and that's when my whole Ooh, From Bloodborne. Software like love just came into effect. Just Bloodborne. that game with Dark Souls, and then Dark Souls Two, and then the first one. I just I, I couldn't stop playing them. Eventually, the game died out. Nobody would play it, so it got really boring. And then I just had to move to a different game called Fortnite. Dead by Daylight. Oh. Yeah. Dead by Daylight. That's that's the game I'm currently playing the most. And if you if you played this, you, you would know how hard it is as a killer. And I played it when I got bored, and I only played it for less than an hour. Do I still have it? I think I uh, removed it from my Steam library. Let me check. No, I, s- anyway, um, I still have it. I still have it. To make this uh, story a little bit more shorter... The games I love the most as a as a child and until now is Dark Soul series with Bloodborne, Shadow Warrior and Shadow Warrior Two, Fortnite, uh, the Batman Arkham games, Fortnite, Dead by Daylight. Please stop say that. saying Fortnite. Fortnite. Uh, no Fortnite and Fortnite. Mortal Kombat. I always I was always scared of that game because of the whole <laughs> I the whole scared. gore oh, physics, like the bones and. The intestines when you do the x-ray. Oh, I, I can never game? play it. Yo! Yo, I know a game I was afraid of. Fucking, what was it? Oh, it was like, Tony Hawk's Underground. Huh, Tony Hawk's Underground. Um, I want to say it was like, New Orleans. Yeah, fucking New Orleans. This fucking, uh, yeah, dude. This shit in broadcast. This shit scared the shit out of me. Because there's like this event. There's this event uh, that you can cause where you literally fucking like cause a zombie apocalypse. Um, and Guys, that, don't go and... to New Orleans at 3 a.m. Uh, talk and... about um, games that that like really scared me. Uh, Splendor: The Arrival. When I played that on my Xbox oh, 360, I think I, I only played the demo. And <laughs> in the demo, there's this house you can go up to. Has this like malnourished child, and you can walk up to it and just jump scare you. I was playing um, the game with my mom with the lights on my basement, because that's where the consoles were. And then, I, like, as soon as that jump scare happened, I legit threw the controller at the screen, ran up the stairs, r- jumped over the gate. So like, my my uh, dog that I used to have wouldn't like go down. Hmm. Went to my room, like went under my covers, and that was only like a couple years ago. Dude. That cut that cutscene scared the shit out of me. I hate the all one I just horror sent. games. The one I just sent? Oh, that cutscene. I love FNAF. horror games now. FNAF is my the favorite. only one I can stomach. FNAF's the only it's horror just game. It's that horror games are not fun anymore. They're always like just survival, which is more action than anything. FNAF was good because it had so much lore and. Like, I love FNAF lore. Look, yeah, look at the video I just sent. That that legit scared the shit out of me. I'll time. look at it after, bro. We're recording. Something. Dude, it's one minute. Yo, no, unpopular opinion. I love Resident Evil Six. It's like probably my favorite one besides Seven. The, I I oh, tried no playing. Quality. I, I have understand. Seven. I tried playing it. I just I can't play. It's like way too scary for me. And like, it, it was already hard enough. Like I'd say, I got scared two times in like the first. Episode. So, and that was spoiler. Actually, no, not even spoiler. Not for like two years. Oh, I don't even need um, a spoiler. When like at the beginning, oh, uh, when you when it's like on the VHS, you and you go down the fucking ladder, and you're, like you see your like uh, teammate there, and then like fall back and just there's blood coming out of his eyes and shit. That, just like, imagine you're shit. like walking, and then like your evil. girlfriend fucking trying to kill you with an axe. Imagine you're like, walking in Resident Evil, and you just look behind you. Imagine you just look behind you in Resident Evil, and you just and I had to complete it. You see, I had to like, complete Resident Evil Seven. You. And it's just like six I, times, I, 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 just so I can get all the achievements. There was a. I want to say you could have played it in VR. One piece. I want to say it came to like a VR one. Oh, in Resident Evil Seven, there is VR. Yeah, I I have the game, but just 
And I have an Oculus Rift that just never worked. It, I never uh, got yeah, I never yeah. got the VR one. one I know for like, uh, the PlayStation VR, it works fine. <laughs> that, that actually got into a pretty good conversation that lasted quite a lot of time. Good job. Everyone, give a round of applause. We managed Congratulations, to Congratulations, you just showed... Yeah, you know, I right, keep the conversations going, because I made the podcast, and... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! Don't make me laugh, little child! Just kidding, I'm the small one. Do you want to explode? <laughs> Alright, who's goes next? Spin the wheel. I think, um... Oh, it's it's just Max or Ian now, right? 50 to 50, bro. Alright. Um... The Lord. Uh, Maxer... Ian. Supply changes. Is there a way to make this wheel like so fast? Just spin it. Seconds to spin. Actually, Put can it you 60, do it? 60 seconds for it to spin. A minute? Never mind. Dude, we don't have a minute for a one spin. Let's just go down the list. Ian, your turn. No, no Max. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, just here. Spin it. Just I'll spin it. I'll spin it. I'll spin it. I'll spin it. You know what? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, Ian. Go. <laughs> Hold on, Horn. What's the topic? The wheel's almost done. Ian has to do it. Ian! Ian! Has to Ian! Ian! Fate was against you, Ian. All right, What's Ian. What's the topic? You do oh, my God! <laughs> Okay, your history with video games. Oh, okay. Your history with video so, games, favorite video he's game. He's gonna talk about hentai, calling it. No! Wait, what? That's, hey, if it's in a game, it, it's, I would it's expect that out of you. No, yeah. it's too civilized for him. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so... What, like, my very first video game was the first Halo game on my original Xbox. My, it was given to me... Uh, I borrowed it one day from my uncle. And he was pretty chill. He was like, yeah, sure, you can have it. And so I was like, cool. That's my, <laughs> that's my story. Go on. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so, it, at, at first, the first time I played it, I got for, past the first level, and I was terrified of it. I was ter I was absolutely terrified of it. Because I was on, like, five when I first started playing it. And at the time, it was an unrated game. So, I kept on playing it, finished it, and then I bought the second Halo game. So, I was like, oh, this is pretty fun. And so, uh, I've yeah, yeah. forgotten to, even then, I forgot to give back the disc for the next five years. Go mm. on. Okay, and then, so, and I was like, yo. And so later in life, I was, I was, I, I played on to, I played on my original Xbox until I was around seven, and then I got my Xbox 360. What a young gamer you were, bro. Hey, my first game console was the Leapfrog. Just, just go ahead. Yo, I need the same as well. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it was mine was the Nintendo DS Lite and oh, um. Mine was the and Nintendo DS. DS Lite in this thing. Hold on. Yeah, my first console then, was the Nintendo 64. No, 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 no. Was was this is this yeah. is like my first thing other than oh, the Nintendo yes, I had DS those, Lite. I had one of those. I played on it yeah. every single day. I loved that. And so, around 2000. Bro, they gotta right make now. one for adults, and it's literally just running over civilians. GTA 5. <laughs> And so, I think it was the 2015, I think. Oh my god. I what? got my Xbox 360. And the, I oh, got, like, the oh, Halo, oh, oh, the Halo, oh, oh, Shut up, Matt. I got the Halo, um, I got the Halo bundle, because I loved Yo. Halo back then. And so, and yes, I do have one of those friends that I haven't spoken to him in three years i miss him a lot <gasps> i had one of those too i love yeah him. dude the v tech v motion was like oh, the shit in me. yeah <laughs> i have no idea what that is i sold it though because i i sold it to buy my playstation it was really sad mm -hmm. dude, how, so, how much do they go for now hon huh? um wait uh 
If it's under $30, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> and so... One, after I... And I, I'm trying to speak to him again, because he was one of my best friends. And... He's like, ew, you smell. No, 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 I actually got into contact. And so later, when I got my Xbox One, I get this random friend request. Because I used my original name on Xbox One. Which was cool as your three one seven. I'm trying to change it still to this day. Um, I have that. I am not very. I'm not ashamed of myself. And so, my I started talking to him again. He was like, "Dude, you sound so different." It's like, "Yeah, you do too." And then we just kind of haven't spoken again because he like lagged out and he never joined back. <laughs> And I, I haven't gotten over it. I was like, bro. <laughs> Is Max or going? I was doing something. Oh, uh. Ian, go ahead. Okay, and then you're, after you're my three sixty, your whole history with the game. Oh, my entire. Well, not your entire, but like. A short version mo- of it. The most so significant. The most significant. Oh, you should have said. We, we, we need to. I've been giving my entire history. Well, that's significant, what you've been saying. It's okay. fine, that's fine, just... Okay. Alright, and then so, well, after my 360... In. After my 360, I got my Xbox One the Christmas of 2016. Juana. Ju? Ju? And I got Sorry. the Assassin's Creed Unity Bundle. Finished the game the same day in eight hours. Um... And I'm then, sorry, we- Unity? Yeah, I got the Assassin's Creed Unity bundle. Uh, that's the worst one. How, how did you uh, complete it? How? I just loved Assassin's Creed. I love Assassin's Creed and I still do. I have every single game made. But Unity is like the worst one. It has like. I no. like Unity a lot. No, gameplay is fun. Duckman, Duckman. If you say Black Flag. If you say Black Flag. Black Flag. I was gonna good. say Black Flag. Black Flag is say- terrible. I was gonna say what? Black Flag. You're and- all saying that no. it's bad? No, I was gonna say Black Flag and or Syndicate. Hey, Syndicate's Syndicate. bad. Syndicate's Syndicate bad. Was- oh, what about yeah. Assassin's Creed Chronicles? Yeah, no, that- those suck. Mario Odyssey. All the new I ones. All the new ones are just bad. Except for Origins Dude, and Odyssey. Origins is good. Odyssey is so-so. The combat's really weird. I don't like the progression system. I, I I think Odyssey and Origins rely way too heavily on um on side quests. Yeah, dude, I hated doing the side quests in Mario. <laughs> and then so after my Xbox One, I <laughs> Jimmy told me I declare a thumb war. So look what I sent. Damn. And then so after. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. I, so like I think in 2017 and ja- and January 21st of 2017 I bought my PlayStation 4. Be quiet. You said significant. <laughs> this is your fault. I would have stopped a while ago if you hadn't said significant. Okay, Max, it's your turn. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, and then I bought my, my PC and that brought me here. Goodbye. <gasps> Goodbye. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, he's back. Do you have any more to say? No. What PC games have you got? Okay, what's your favorite game? Wait. Are you talking to me or are yeah. you talking yes, go to somebody on, else? Ian. We're trying. <laughs> We're not even 30 minutes in yet. We're still starting oh. for time. All right, and so then I got my PlayStation. Just what's your got... favorite game? That's all he oh, has. Okay, okay. What's, okay what's my favorite, favorite game? game. My favorite game is uh. Damn, I can't believe you didn't tell us. Guarantee it's gonna be it's gonna be like Unity or okay, something. Okay, is it my turn? He's gonna say Fortnite. Bean battles. Bean battles is his favorite game. All right, Max, go ahead. My favorite favorite game is Dishonored 2. Okay, he's muted. Oh, I I actually did not expect that. You're all getting muted. All right, Max, go. All right, when I was like, I don't know, four, my brother got like a DS Lite, 
And whenever he was at school, I got to play with it. And I think the first game I played was uh, Pokemon Emerald. And now I don't really like turn-based RPGs, but Pokemon kind of did it different. I like the way Pokemon did it. And after that, I played some Wii games, uh, like Smash Brawl, Mario Kart Wii, Wii Sports Resort, Wii Sports, a lot more. So, yeah, I got into Sorry, I'm not paying Nintendo. attention, Max, but me and Duckman are battling. Wait, what? <laughs> Look in general. Oh, no. We're battling for dominance. <laughs> oh, no. And then, yeah, after all the Wii stuff, my brother introduced me to Minecraft <laughs> on the iPad. Sorry, I just got a... Just... You're watching Carson stream at the same time. <laughs> what is his third wallpaper? <laughs> Dude, Zukri just sent me an image of just how did you work with this bitch with just Mango Tango and Minecraft? Who's your mommy, baby pregnant? <laughs> he just sent me. <laughs> he just sent me. How do you work with this bitch? I feel. All right, let's okay, go. Continue. All right, Master, continue. And then, um, when I was like six or something, my brother introduced to me to like Minecraft on the iPad, on his iPad. And I couldn't really play it because I had an iPod Touch, but it, it was like <laughs> it was, well, I couldn't do anything on it, so I couldn't install Minecraft. Nat, you know oh, we can hear your little gremlin Christmas. giggles, right? I got something. <laughs> Are you I watching? changed my wallpaper. And then I, I got Minecraft. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Let's see if I can turn on the share screen. <laughs> it's Mario Kart. till I can't no more. I mean, given it's Mario Kart. Uh, given, given little Nass's sick sexuality. Guys, uh, just that, mute yourself. All right, so Max just continue, continue with Max's story. Max are Guys, I don't know what's going on. Like, it, this says like audio is oh, coming out of Prez's thing, but it's just not. Prez's <laughs> end is just completely silent. I don't know what's going on. Meet him. Shut up. Meet him. Okay. And then, yeah, after Christmas, I started playing Minecraft. Maxer. From uh, Pocket Edition. Maxer. And then, yeah. Okay, I just want to make cool. sure Nathaniel was telling the truth. Wasn't Fast forward six the months. Go ahead. Um, I got Minecraft PC on my birthday. And my brother did too. So I played that a lot. And I kept playing that game for a long time. Then I went back to Smash Bros. for the Wii U. And I played that for like a year. It was fun. I got to play with some friends from school. And I went back to Minecraft. <laughs> I was like 10. And then, yeah, I didn't really reach out to any games until like a year ago. But, yeah, I played. Then I met you guys, actually, when playing Minecraft two years ago. And then, yeah, I played Minecraft a lot. <laughs> Then after that, what happened? Fortnite. I, I played that for like a month. Oh my god, guys! I'm I'm gaming right now, guys. I got my controller. I am gaming, playing Mortal Kombat on the 3DS. <laughs> and then um, yeah, that's really it, honestly. All right, thank you, Max, sir. Friends. <laughs> he's gone, he's gone. Okay, That's well, I, I got another, I got another uh, story for um, the broadcast. Yeah, alright, go ahead. When I was, like, really young, I used to, I used like, to really like so watching so. those, I used to really like watching those Hero Ryan sighting videos, but since I, when I was young, I used to be scared of everything. So as I was watching them, I got an irrational fear of, like, Herobrine. So I could never play Minecraft by myself. 
ever. I would I would always have somebody in the room or playing with me. Yeah. He even came down. He even came down to like every time I play single player after watching Chibber play it, I would legit get shivers and just leave. I was always afraid of the Squidward suicide. Um, Sponge, or bro, bro, I have a gun. <laughs> oh yeah, talk about creepy pasta. Okay, I got a creepy pasta story. Okay, sure. Mario, Mario was I was playing Mario game. Uh, it was creepy game. It said, "Don't play on the back of the cartridge." I look at TV screen. Mario's look at me and said, "So long, gay Bowser." And then, <laughs> and then Bowser came in <laughs> wearing a bracelet and lipstick. <laughs> he was gay. <laughs> and then Mario came up, grabbed his tail, and threw him out the screen. He hit me. It was a plushie of a gay Bowser. He came out just like that. And then Bowser tried to bite my ankle. I took I took my what father's shotgun. What did I come shotgun. back to? Bowser tried to bite my ankle? Duckman, what I, I took were my you father's on? shotgun. Why I, I shot video? Bowser. Why I shot Bowser and then put him on fire. Mario came out the screen with a Sonic doll. No, uh, Tails doll, and then killed me. <laughs> Wait, is that a- is that a fucking- is that a reference to the Tails doll creepypasta? Yes. Okay, Han, so there are several things that you referenced. Uh, the fucking Gay Bowser, which is the line from Zoom Around 64, coming up the TV like fucking Sonic.exe slash Tails doll. What else do we include? What Mario. What were you? Oh yeah, there are like Mario's, several lines. Just, yes, there are so many bad ones. Dude, we should do, like, bad into, actually, what brought me into guys, creepy pasta was this one creep kid on my bus who had this app on his phone that um, guys, he guys, tried guys. to scare me with with the image of Jeff the Killer. Guys, like just dude, the thing that brought me into creepy pasta was probably Ben Drown because I was so interested. The thing that brought oh, Ben Drown in Lavender Town. The the main story he told me that actually brought me into it was this one about um like this granny. Who who's trying to get help from this one like police officer? But it turned out the granny was the killer all along. Hmm. And the uh, twist was that the basement was like hoarding guys, all. We should the read like, crappy pages. pastas for a broadcast. We should read crappy pastas or something. The, Not even for a broadcast. Day just full for a of blood. Video. Get another creepy pasta. It's yeah. really scary. Yeah. I was I was walking to a police officer. He said. <laughs> do you do you um watch YouTube? He was he was a boomer. Fortnite. I said yeah, I, I love I love YouTube, and he told me about this one person, the nostalgic critic. I <laughs> decided to look at the, the nostalgic critic, <laughs> the nostalgic critic Jurassic Park going. Three review. I watched it and went to the part where the where the person who was I think pregnant lift up their shirt to see like what would be a stomach, but it was actually the dinosaur. It said Alan. <laughs> the nostalgic <laughs> critic took out a knife from behind him and gun shot the person. Then his eyes, uh, ultra realistic blood. Nostalgic critic deleted was, scene. Deleted as episode. if he was crying with blood, Have and then really he started screaming. A... There's so many like creep pastas like this. Anyway, he started screaming his bad scream. <laughs> It's just the fear breaker. Or no, it just team star scream. <laughs> That's the nostalgic critic theme where it's like really loud. Where it's like high pitch. And then the, the nostalgic critic talked to me through the screen. He said, Duckman, I will kill every from the nostalgic critic. And then he looked up to the ceiling uh, and then handed out to the whole universe and you could just hear the mm. the nostalgic critic screaming NERD The nostalgic what? critic went to the angry video game nerd basement or hideout and then wrecked all the games. He tied up the yeah. angry video game nerd and he started slapping him. He's like who's the poopy head now, bitch? Yo, I miss him by two hours at um at the uh at too many games. Too many I games. really wanted to um I really want to like meet him. Oh, games, you know? uh, yeah, I, there's a picture of me with a nostalgic. Uh, no, not the nostalgic critic. With me with the angry. What's the what's the creepy pasta you guys think is out of me as a kid? What's the creepy pasta you guys think is like really bad that you love to just like shit on? That's a good question. Like uh, Sonic still kind of scares me. But I also me. love to hate. Uh, like it, yeah, it just, like it's, the, the ones that you love to hate, just here. because it's like it tried the, to be like on. scary, but it was really funny. The Sonic.exe is a mixed bag for me because the one, the one thing yeah. that just 
the thought of it is creepy, but it, I'm not, it just makes no fucking sense. Yeah, I I, I think it, it's definitely something that you actually are Ben Drown, because those, like, I, I played fully through Sonic Dot uh exe oh i forgot to say one of my my like second favorite video game of all time other than mario 64 is majora's mask i love majora's mask so oh, like dude. i i loved the ben Drown thing, mask. But it was so creepy like have you ever listened to the song of unhealing prez mm -hmm. after after the wait majora's mask yes no? in general is just a creepy game I really want a sequel to it. I really want like a return like, to Chairman. Okay, let's say if you're like playing on your DS and like it's on there now, mm -hmm. play that like under your covers at like three a.m. by yourself. Mm -hmm. Like nobody's nobody's like at your house or everybody's asleep. Mm -hmm. Your door wide open, God, and you just you just hear that. You, you don't speak. You don't have anything in the background. You just play the game. Hell mm -hmm. no. Hell no, I ain't never Yeah, do exa that. exactly, exactly. I ain't never do that. The mask is just that creepy. You cannot do it. Wait, repeat that? I'm okay, not so, I'm not even going to repeat that. I, I... Something that really scared me. Something that, like, made me, like, shake my boots, like, even, like, when I wasn't a kid. You know that one Sonic game where you can, like, change the music and you make your own music? Yeah. And there's like oh! the, the E-story where you can like, if you put a certain code, it shows like Sonic with yeah, like a creepy face so... and music. Oh yeah, that scared the shit out of me! Yeah, that, no, we don't talk like, about that. I wasn't that. even playing I that game. That, I just I watched a creepy pasta. We don't, Someone is look, too. Duck, duck man, we don't talk about that, alright? Oh, I think that's all, gamers. We're gonna end the broadcast on that note. Thank y'all for coming. I hope you enjoy the new intro that we have and the new outro, which you're about to see. That Duckman and I recorded. And I hope uh, you come back and find the next one funnier than this. Because this one sucked. It didn't really suck. It was more oh my story God. oriented. Someone put love at the spawn. Fortnite! Hey guys, we're back to the outro. In today's broadcast, that was pretty funny, right? Yeah, guys. Uh, be, really make sure to subscribe. Uh, turn on the, the bell notification so you can get every video thank you duckman uh, don't forget to like and i hope you can see you later bro